Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's promo. And today I'm gonna show you how you're able to keep your motion smoothness at adaptive, which is using the 120 Hertz refresh rate, even when you are using power saving mode. So for anybody who uses power saving mode, it does save you a little bit of battery, maybe it's a long day, but you also notice that your phone went back down to 60 Hertz for the refresh rate. And actually the adaptive is now blacked out. It's grayed out, you're not able to select it. It states that it's not supported in power saving mode. So I was able to find a bug. It was able to keep that adaptive 120 Hertz, even in power saving mode. But before we go inside of this portion of the video, I do want to give a big shout out to the person who actually pointed this out. And it was inside of Twitter. He goes by the name of Leon and he also does have a YouTube channel. He talked about this right here as the subject. It is in Chinese. So I'm just giving you the American version here in English. Uh, but I do want to give a big shout out to Leon who was able to give me the details to make this work. So I've been asked multiple times lately if you can have the 120 hertz adaptive refresh rate with the power saving mode inside of Samsung One UI 3.0 and this is how you get it done. But if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy's Promo, you guys appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices, don't forget to hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for all future videos. Now before we turn this on, let's go inside of the developer options because I do want to turn on the option where it shows you the refresh rate on the screen. So let's scroll down inside of here and let's look for show refresh rate. So right now it's going to put a little green number on the very top. It's going to switch between 120 and 60. That's the adaptive part of this. When there's no scrolling, really nothing going on, maybe you're just reading, it'll keep it at 60 for you. And then anytime that you scroll, there's movement, things like that, then it's going to put it right back up into 120 frames per second. So first off, let's go through what would normally happen. So first off, when you go inside your settings, then you go inside of your display you put it on adaptive boom there we go we're at 120 frames for the refresh rate uh, now let's say that we go inside of the power saving mode you can see it drops right back down to 60 right away uh, just I do want to show you just that this refresh rate indicator on the top is correct it's true anytime I scrolled it moved it up to 120 when you go inside of the the display here it, it's still gonna be stuck on the standard uh, because it is gonna be inside of this power saving mode so how you're able to basically confuse the phone and make it be stuck with the 120 is this. So here we are at the very beginning, the power saving mode is off and we have it on adaptive. So here is step one. You go inside of this screen here and you switch it over into standard and you hit on apply. Now that you are done with that, you go right back inside of here, you tap on adaptive, but you do not hit on apply. From here, just go to the very top and you tap on power saving mode, the, the word. Then you click on details, then you turn it on. So you can see that we're still stuck at 60 for the refresh rate. Now go back to your recent applications. Don't get out of any of this stuff here. You just wanna go back to the screen. You can see it's on adaptive, even though it's grayed out. And then you hit on apply. And you can see here, we are running at 120 for refresh rate. Now, if I do wanna go on the very top, you can see that that power saving mode is in fact turned on. We're still sitting at 120. Now, if I was to leave this one sit here just for just for a couple seconds, like we did from before, you can see it goes back down into 60. Now, for anybody who does not wanna go by this indicator right here, what we can do is actually head inside of a Google search. We can go to the FPS test. This is gonna show us frame rate. It's gonna show us refresh rate, things like that. And so as we scroll on down, you can see that it's going to calculate. It's gonna show that 120 frames per second, and then it's gonna drop down, It's and then it's gonna read it this way as well. And when you do go below this over here, you can also see that it's gonna show us the refresh rate, the frame rate, things like that. It just happens to be that with this setting here, when you do have it sitting, it's, it's just, you know, doing nothing it's going to probably go down to that that 60 frames per second and 60 hertz for refresh rate but as you are using you can see that it is just definitely uh building up on that 120 for the frames per second and it's going to do the same thing here for this refresh rate so it is coinciding with that number on the very top that comes from the developer options uh, so for anybody who does want to use their phone in power saving mode and you do want to keep that 120 uh, adaptive refresh rate you can just go inside of the display this is where you go inside of here and you want to select on standard first uh, so let's just say that we go right on back and you didn't really see everything that we did 
make sure the power saving mode is turned off. So this is just a repeat. If you're if you're done with the video, you, you saw everything you're supposed to do, uh, then you can leave now, but I'm gonna reshow it really quick one more time. It's just a couple steps. So first off, just make sure that your phone is set to standard. Then when you move it back to adaptive, do not hit on apply just yet. Just go right up to the very top. You tap on that power saving mode. You hit on details. You go to turn it right back on. You go back to your recent applications. You're back inside of the screen. You can see it is selected. And then once you hit on apply, even though it's grayed out, it still selects it. There you go. You have your 120 hertz or of the refresh rate. And you're also on power saving mode at the exact same time. And you can see it there with that icon. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.